Hey guys, and welcome to yet another daily episode here. It is March 5th, 2009, and we're back yet again inside of Reaper recording software, and I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about the metronome settings. Um, a couple weeks ago, I actually did um, changing time signatures with the metronome um, inside of your project, but I'm actually going to go in and, and show you some different settings on the actual metronome and changing the metronome sound and things like that. So up here inside of Reaper you can go to options and come down here to metronome settings right under metronome enabled and here are all your different um, settings that you can do um, right at the beginning is enable metronome you can turn that on and off and you can see this going blue and going gray again um, these settings down here are pretty cool um, right here you have count in before playback and then also count in before recording so if you want to start if you want to start right at the beginning of your recording without having any extra space you can click that on and it'll give you a four count before you actually start before it actually starts recording which is really cool and then same thing if you click this on up here it does the same thing for playback to make sure um, to give you a reference of a count in to make sure that you're on you're on time at the very start of the measure <coughs> um, down here is your metronome volume uh, and uh, this is just how loud you want your metronome um, compared to your system volume and your track volume um, and right here is secondary beat um, which is um, you know that there's a uh, there's a, a down beat and then there's all the other ones and the the secondary beat is is the rest of your um, beats, not your primary. I um, mean, you can change that as well. Um, and then the rest of it is actually changing the sound. You can change the frequency of it. And then uh, this is your beat click click length, which is actually how long the beep goes for. Um, you want that fairly short because it is a metronome. Um, so those are just some uh, f a few things inside of the uh, the. Uh, metronome settings. Um, here, if you're wondering what this is, this is just uh, a place where you can actually load in your own metronome sound. So if you wanted to record your own metronome sound for some reason, you could actually make it your own um, if you wanted to do that as well. And that will save with your project. Um, so yeah, that's just uh, some basic metronome settings that actually really helps a lot. Um, just some housekeeping things inside of Reaper to help you produce some better recordings. Um, so uh, thanks for checking this video out, and we'll see you in another daily tip.